Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron trilogy Optimus Prime. Uh, as you can see, as usual, it's from Hasbro. It's part of the Transformers Generations line, uh, Takara and Tomy. There's the side of the box. The other side, you see nice image of Optimus there and there you see Optimus on the back very cool uh, this <clears throat> I never had an Optimus Prime growing up I had very few Transformers growing up actually I always liked the cartoon I liked anytime I was at my friend's house I loved playing with their Transformers uh, they were just so expensive I, I couldn't really get that many of them uh, so I'm glad to be able to get some now. Uh, my collection is expanding quite a bit. Uh, I just picked up quite a few of them. Uh, and it wasn't until I came across Caveman Reviews here on YouTube that I started getting more into uh, Transformers, all the lore, uh, and the figures themselves. We're collaborating collaborating on a couple videos that should be coming out in the near future hopefully fingers crossed I did a review on a transformer for his channel that he should be coming out with soon now that he's back doing uh, YouTube again and he's going to be doing the voiceover for a uh, history and origins of Megatron video for come again TV so make sure you stay tuned for that coming out in the near future. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into Optimus Prime. He does come with a uh, dr some directions, which I did have to go over before filming this. Uh, because I don't mess with them too much, I keep them all displayed. Uh, occasionally I will pick them up and transform them. Uh, just so that the joints don't get stiff and all this. But I digress. Anyway, as you can see, he comes with a blaster right there. Uh, and he comes with his axe, which in and of itself transforms as well into a blaster. Let's see. All you do is fold this part down, fold this part up, and you can use it like that as a shield or as a blaster like that. Pretty cool. Set those off to the side. And I really love the sculpts on Optimus. Optimus was always my favorite character in the Transformers, as I'm sure he was many people's favorites in Transformers. Uh, he was my grail growing up. Uh, I, I never got him. I never even saw him in stores because they were always sold out of him. Uh, I do plan on eventually picking up uh, one of the re-release Generation 1 uh, Optimuses, but I don't want to do that until I can find a re-release Generation 1 Megatron because, you know, they, they kind of they go together. So it, it would feel unbalanced if I had one and not the other. I had Megatron for uh, a few weeks and then I finally managed to pick up an Optimus. So anyway, like I said, the sculpt on this guy is awesome. Uh, you can tell he's got some uh, battle, uh, some battle damage here. Uh, paint wearing off from battle. Uh, very cool. Uh, <clears throat> I did get my son the film version of Optimus Prime a couple years ago. Uh, somehow he managed to lose the head so I don't know how he managed to do that but he did because uh, I was going to do a review on him a while back but with no head it seemed kind of pointless I do actually prefer the move the film version of Optimus Prime over the square body red semi of the animation and generalized style of him uh, even though this was the original, I, I still prefer the blue 
with Red Flame Semi-Truck Optimus Prime. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started on this. We're going to bend the elbows, just like that. And I'm going to take you in the order that it shows on the uh, directions. And then we're going to flip the legs around right at the knee. I'm going to bring this part out and up. Then flip the wheels around just like that. Same thing on this side. The wheels out just like that. And now before you connect this, you're going to want to, this part right here, it's very difficult to try and get a grip on it to flip it open on both legs. So you're going to want to come at it from the sides. Just like that. Flip them up. And then go ahead and we're going to go ahead and bring, close the toes, toe and heel. And then we're going to connect. As you can see here. This tab here tabs right in above that tab, and that tab tabs in right below that one. Tab those together. This octagon inserts right there. Okay. They tab together just like that. And then, once we got that done, we're going to fold this up. And he folds. It isn't just the legs that fold up. you got to fold up this whole... See, if you just fold the legs back, then it, it's going to be off. So you got to take right behind the crotch piece. Fold that whole piece up just like that. Okay. Then fold those in. All right. Then what we do, we bring the backpack up, spin it around, just like that. All right. Generally, this is where the directions will tell you to go ahead and fold the feet. But I went ahead and did it ahead of time. So anyway, you take this piece, fold it up, and fold this piece around on his arms just like that and they can only go one way if you don't try taking it the other way because they are blocked by this piece here you may end up breaking them if you try so fold it around just like that and then bring his arms back just like that the wheels take a little bit of effort they're a little awkward you bring the wheels down and you put them flat for now and then once you do that you bring the arms around This part's a little awkward. The fists slide right in to this groove here. Okay? Same thing on this side. Make sure you get that tab over. Then we go ahead and bring the wheels up. Okay. And then we open his chest. Uh, no. Oh no. Alright. So we open his chest. Go ahead and fold down his head. Alright. Make 
make sure it's folded down all the way. We open up the backpack, fold out the gray piece, bring it down. This gray piece will cover up his belt. Right. Then bring this part around. Clip it in, both sides. It clips in just like that. Okay, once we got that done, we can close the chest piece and then finish tabbing everything in. There. All right, and there you have Optimus Prime in semi mode. Now there's a number of things that you can do with these. All right, You can put his gun in either one of these peg holes, which looks okay. You can put it on the side here, which looks good. It looks all right. Or you can plug it in in the back. which looks good too. Uh, you can also plug it in back here and have it flip around. That looks good. Uh, although he... I, I'm a very symmetrical person so I, I really need him to have two, two cannons uh, to make it even kind of my OCD kicking in uh, and then this one you can pretty much do the same thing it fits just about everywhere and the uh, the axe part does tend to unclip from time to time and it just clips back in see have it back in. Uh, something else you can do with this is you can go ahead and take the axe back out and kind of like that. If he passes by a Decepticon you can go right past it and just cut it in half and back up and do it again which is cool uh, you can also do that back here as well cut them right in half flip it around hook on to the, o the other one and drag them backwards so anyway there you have it guys the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.